Princess Kasia was the third wife of the billionaire and prince of Qatar, Abdulaziz bin Khalifa Al Thani. Her life in the golden cage was as a nightmare. After the divorce, for many years she battled with her ex-husband for custody of their three daughters. But when she learned the terrible truth about the prince, soon she was found dead in her mansion in Spain. She was just 45 years old. What happened to former princess? Was her death accidental? And why did this woman suffer for many years in spite of her husband's great wealth? Keep watching to find out. This is WOW channel. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin! Kasia Galanio was an ordinary girl from Poland. She was born in Krakow, but grew up in Los Angeles, California. She lived like many other girls in America and didn't dream of princes, but one meeting completely changed her life. When she was a 19-year-old student, she went to Paris on holiday. Friends decided to introduce her to one man. Kasia revealed that it was the Prince of Qatar. Everything happened by accident. The prince was 28 years older, but despite this, they liked each other and exchanged emails. Abdelaziz bin Khalifa Al Thani is the first son of Khalifa bin Hamad Al Thani, the eighth Emir of Qatar. He served as oil minister of finance between 1972 and 1992. After leaving office, Abdelaziz began to live in France. That's why he spent a lot of time in Paris when he met Kasia. Young girl got back to Los Angeles. Her email box was full. She got roses and other gifts. The courtship was so nice and romantic. Young, naive girl fell in love. And she even didn't bother that Prince was 47 years old. He had two wives and several children. Kasia became the third wife of the prince in 2004. She dedicated herself to family life. After the marriage, she bore three daughters, Sheikha Malak, Sheikha Jasmine and Sheikha Karim. Two of them are twins. After she had three children, the relationship between wife and husband soured. It happened maybe because they had huge age difference. Also, some family members came in between. Prince Abdulaziz has 12 children from three different women. It is so hard to spend time to all of them. In addition, Kasia felt like she was living in a golden cage. All she wanted was to be free. Money didn't make her happy. I wanted to live my life. I was still very young and I had my children very young. So I wanted to experience life and he had already finished that part. Kasia filed for divorce and decided to start new life in the USA with her daughters. But it is not easy sometimes to split up with Arab men who used to control all members of his family. The former royal couple had been engaged in a bitter legal battle for 15 years over the custody of their children. The prince accused his ex-wife of being an alcoholic with mental health issues, while she in turn accused him of abuse. The prince manipulated his ex-wife for a long time. He refused to pay money for the life of his daughters. Kasia had to sell her personal jewelry to survive. She managed to start a new life without the help of her husband. She settled in the Spanish city of Marbella. Kasia had a popular Instagram account with half a million followers. She was also friends with many celebrities. None of them said anything bad about her. A close friend of Kasia described her in an interview to Olive Press as a good person who was never addicted with banned substance. I knew her very, very well and I'm devastated at the news, Louis Spangnuolo told. She was a very good person, and those who knew her loved her. She loved her daughters beyond belief and would never leave them. 
Kasia claimed in an interview to Women's World Show TV that she always had perfect relationship with her daughters. All of her children wanted to stay with mother, but Prince Abdelaziz was very angry because of this decision and used his huge money and power to achieve what he wants. The dispute went on for many years. Now the prince's daughters have already grown up. The twins are 17 years old. The youngest is 15. They can make their own decisions. But the prince didn't think so and sought through the court that they return to him. Kasia lose toxic custody battle with billionaire ex-husband. The mother, dying of grief, decided to take extreme measures. She told her story in public and she revealed the ugly truth, but soon she was found dead. Her body was discovered at her marble apartment complex on Sunday in May in 2022. One of her daughters alerted Spanish authorities from Paris that she hadn't been able to contact her other for days. After that, several officers entered her apartment and found out her body. Doctors revealed that she died due to banned substance addiction, but some of her friends doubt this, as they don't consider her obsessed. Others think that she died of grief weeks after losing toxic custody battle with Qatari prince. And someone suspects that the cause of her death lies in her terrible accusations against her ex-husband. Several weeks before death, Kasia accused her former husband of inappropriately touching her younger daughter. I was absolutely devastated about my daughter said in court that her father had touched her inappropriately claimed Kasia in interview and added that Abdulaziz forced her daughter to sleep in his bed. Prince Abdulaziz, of course, denies this accusation. I hope it's not true. However, when my daughter says it, I do believe my daughter. It's a horrible story, something that hit me very hard. It's every mother's nightmare. Kasia wanted to do a platform for women who can't have a voice. She dreamt to be the voice for them and help as much as she could. But her dream will never come true, because she passed away. A few weeks before her death, she left a touching message to her daughters on her Instagram. My darlings, never forget that I love you so much. Life is filled with hard times and good times. If at certain moments you feel overwhelmed, don't forget who you are, straighten up your crown and be brave, learn from everything you can and be the incredible, inspiring, powerful and compassionate women. I know you can be. Love, mommy. And what do you think about this story? Thanks for watching and don't forget to share your thoughts with me, to click like and subscribe. See you next time!